Hey guys, I've been testing this slingshot board. It's the Coalition 2019. It's an awesome strictly park board. Um, you don't want to use this after both because you don't have any fins to guide you. Uh, so this is only for, for parks. It's, uh, it's really light and quite flexible. It has a wooden core and a soft to medium flex. So it's, it's really playful in the water, um, but because you have the, the bedrock carbon insert, you still have a lot of control over the board. It's basically just a, a plate of carbon that goes uh, up here, which uh, offers a lot of stability and uh, control. So even if it's so flexible and it might be a bit wobbly, then you have a great control with these uh, bindings. So if you want to make a sharp turn, you can still do it. One thing I, I really like about this board is the, um, the ballistic base that it has. It's a super smooth surface and it's uh, really good for grinding. It also has these uh, chined rails all uh, the way down the sides. And basically what that is, is just that it's angled a little bit upwards on both sides. So when you go over an obstacle and you slide, uh, you have a lot of clearance, so you don't get these lock up and, and fall off. I uh, practiced my first 360 slide on this board. I only started uh, wakeboarding less than a year ago, so for me it was completely new. But uh, less than a session and then I nailed it. And uh, the next session after, I wanted to go for the kicker and do a 360. And uh, about one session on the kicker and um, I landed that one as well. What really made a difference for me, I think, is that because of you have these chined rails, uh, even if I was landing a bit off, uh, I was still able to maintain my speed and uh, hold on to the handle and uh, correct it so I could uh, keep on waking. And it's, uh, it's super good for beginners uh, because it's so forgiving and playful. I've seen a few of the, the really hardcore guy, guys in, uh, in the park on this board as well. And uh, they seem to have a lot of fun with it as well. They do some huge air tricks on it. And um, I can see that a lot of them are doing uh, some nose presses. I'm not there yet, but it has a, a quite buttery nose. So when you want to lean into the press, it offers you uh, a lot of flex. And because it's so wide, you don't have to worry about falling to the sides. You can just focus on, uh, on making the grind. If you are a bit uh, of the heavy end of the scale, like uh, me, then uh, this is a really nice board as well because it's um, it's so wide underneath the bottom. Then um, it just gives you a lot of floatability in the water, and for me it just feels like I'm I'm way lighter on uh, on this board. Uh, I've tried a few more narrow boards which were sharper to turn, but this one is just uh, perfect for a guy like me. So. If you're a beginner or if you are good at waking and you just want a board that it's uh, really versatile and offers a lot of fun in the park, you should definitely consider this uh, Slingshot Coalition board. Yeah.